he's happy to wake up. This is a wait. Soak it in. He has literally Ladies been waiting his lifetime to for. To commence the ceremony, please welcome FIFA President Gianni Infantino, accompanied by dignitaries and members of the FIFA football family. And please welcome His Highness Sheikh Tabin bin Hamad Al Thani, the Emir of the State. Macron, the president of France, on the stage. He will greet his team. That is a worthwhile trip for those Argentinian fans. Zero regrets. FIFA will now present commemorative medals to the match officials for this evening's final. We're handing out the match official medals right now. And while we have a moment, I just want to say thank you to the country of Qatar. What a wonderful host they have been. So hospitable, so friendly, so welcoming. They put on an amazing presentation. The stadiums so close to one another. It was almost as if the World Cup was held in a city rather than a country. And there are people out there who made every game. All 64 matches, including that man, FIFA president Gianni Infantino. He had some transportation help, <laughs> to put it mildly. But he was there for every game. A tournament of firsts as well beyond just the first tournament held in the Middle East. We had 172 goals, most ever at a World Cup. We had 711 stoppage time at minutes, which means we played 6,471 minutes of soccer, most ever at a World Cup. Five penalty kick shootout games also the most ever in World Cup history. You saw a couple American officials coming up on the stage to receive their medals. Part of the growth of soccer, no matter what country you're in, it, you know, getting the players is the thing that's right in front of your eyes, but growing managers, growing officials to be at an elite level is something to be proud of. And the United States making it to the round of 16, two of their finest, making it to the World Cup championship game. So the young player award, Landon Donovan, you won this in 2002. The winner of the free fight, Fernandez, getting it here. Well, I stole that one, Rob, not sure. <laughs> I got that. But he was fully deserving. He was terrific all tournament long. Where do you have your award, by the way? That's a great question. I have no idea. How do you not know where that is? I couldn't tell. I have no idea. I can know where my medal is, though, Deuce. Next to the match officials' medals. <laughs> <laughs> you going to get us in trouble. <laughs> 21 year old Benfica man. He might be in line for a rather large payday in the near future. In the January transfer window opens up in just days, January 1st. But you were mentioning Qatar and the unique aspects of this World Cup. Obviously, the time, the place, and, you know, normally World Cups are where people are on show. And in that window, and things happen, and who knows what's going to happen here in this January window relative to what happened here at the World Cup. And we will not see a World Cup like this. Probably any time in the future. The trend obviously is going very, very differently. Much bigger, multiple, uh, multiple countries, including 2026. So bigger and better, my friend. Bigger and better. The United States, Canada, Mexico to host the next Men's World Cup. Golden Glove Award. A surprise, but 
hard to fully argue con considering what particularly what Emmy Martinez did in this game alone. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> that was an interesting look. All right. He had some competition, though. Lovakovic, another sure. Is. Right? I would have given it to Lovakovic. Good, good goalkeeping at this tournament, despite the record number of goals. To be fair, he did make the save that, yep. that really won it for him. Yeah, if they waited until after today, right? Vote, <laughs> then how do you not give it to him, right? Which is the way it's supposed to work, by the way. I know there's plenty of awards out there that don't operate under that. Let's give it up for Kylian Mbappe, the Golden Boot winner, eight goals here. Most in one World Cup since Ronaldo back in 2002. 12 career World Cup goals. Ties Pele for sixth most in World Cup history. And he has a birthday to celebrate in a couple days. As president, he's already comforted him once. How about that hat trick in the final? And then also taking three penalties and made all of them. Before he turns 24, two yeah. World Cup finals. He's got the, I mean, look, it's a disappointing night for him and for France, but ultimately, that guy's got the world at his fingertips. And he's only going to get better. Only five players have scored a hat trick in a World Cup final. Baba, Jeff Hurst, Pele, Harvey Lloyd, Zinedine Zidane at a men's World Cup. Sorry, at a men's World Cup. But Set the women's Carly. World Cup, yep, starts in 214 days. And you can see it live here on Fox Sports. The Golden Ball Award for the player of the tournament. Hmm, I wonder who it's going to be, Rob. You have one guess. What do you think, Deuce? It's written. Come on. <laughs> They're chanting his name right now. Played all 690 minutes here. And more hugs. Seven goals, four assists. 13 career World Cup goals tied for fourth most all time. 98 international goals. And that's the one he wants. It'll be yours soon enough. That might go viral, that picture. <laughs> Don't blame it for sneaking a kiss there. <laughs> uh -uh. When she's that pretty, yeah. you definitely sneak in a kiss. You know, I think for him, it was as much relief at the final whistle as it is now turning to joy. But I think for everyone back home in Argentina, this is pure joy and everyone in the stadium too. Congrats to him, man. What a tournament. Messi and Mbappe teammates in Paris with PSG. Enzo Fernandez getting in on the moment. Well, Mbappe knows when to exit stage right. The future of Lionel Messi will be very interesting going forward. And Lex, we had talked about it earlier in our coverage of the World Cup. Some heavy, heavy talk out there that in the not too distant future, his destination very well may be Miami in and Major now, League Soccer. Please congratulate the runners up of the FIFA World Cup Cup 2022, France. And Thank you. 
So the runner's up medal right now in this tunnel of honor by Argentina. That is a tough walk. And there are a lot of friends and a lot of teammates through that tunnel. And again, it hurts, but wow, this France team to be able to come back from being champions. And we know, obviously, repeating still has not been done now in six years. But to get back to the final, as we know, history tells us that not only is it difficult to get back to the final, it's difficult just to get out of your group after you've won. And yet they refreshed and they came back with a team that got to the final, that entertained us, and ultimately, even though on the losing end, gave us the best World Cup final that I have ever seen. And they deserve a tremendous amount of credit. Their leader there, Macron, obviously proud of each and every one of them and what they did for their country. And they lost to a good Argentine team with arguably the GOAT. And what was impressive is coming into this tournament, all the people that they were missing, Karim Benzema, you know, the player that was player of the year. Conte. Pogba. The very first game, the, the left back went down, did his knee. I mean, they were able to, to, to rebound and, and still fight to the end, get to the final. Uh, yeah, I was just, feel bad I, for him, but I was just thinking the everything. same thing. There were two of the best midfielders in the world, maybe, Conte and Pogba, and then the Ballon d'Or winner, Kareem Benzema, not on this, and they still got this far. I mean, you're absolutely right, Deuce. Really, really impressive. They lose their left back, Hernandez, as you mentioned the first half of the first game. They'll be back. They will be a force to be reckoned with for a long, long time. Again, this was their fourth men's FIFA Cup final in the last seven editions of this tournament. Didier Deschamps so close to his third overall World Cup title, won it as a player and as a manager. This is a photo op that they don't care to take. Only their third string goalkeeper did not see action for France. That is the president of your country having a heartfelt one-on-one -on -one with you. But watch out in four years for him and France. This is motivation right now. They have so much to be proud of, but I know this moment just is crushing for them. And now, we get to the good stuff. Winner's medals being sorted. Lionel Messi already stole one kiss with the FIFA World Cup. Had a big old crowd to watch this, oh by the way. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. It weighs just 13.6 pounds, but it is the greatest piece of gold in the game, John Strong, Stu Holden. Rob, it's interesting to think this all might have happened eight and a half years ago. Had Gonzalo Higuain finished a chance in the 90th, Argentina would have beaten Germany. They would have won the World Cup. Is one World Cup victory more important than another? But you do wonder the fact that it has come at the end like this for Messi in this type of match with his children here as well, old enough to remember it. You can see the emotion, and it does feel like this means more than other versions of this story might have. It's the perfect ending for Lionel Messi with Argentina. He's still got many more years left in his career, but to win a World Cup title in this fashion, on this stage, and how he did it in scoring in every single game in the knockout stages, scoring twice in this match. And you talked about so many of those different moments, John, and the misses and the big misses. There was a late miss from Lataro Martinez, and then his goalkeeper is the hero in the end that comes up with a big-time save on that late chance. That save will be replayed over and over and over again. And it's a big part of that story.
story, you never know who the hero is going to be on the day. It was messy, but it was also, again, the supporting cast he needed. Gonzalo Montiel's an interesting figure. Number four, he already came up, he got his medal. He made the winning kick. It was his moment, the walk-off. Remember, it was his handball in the 118th minute that brought France back in, that gave them that penalty that might have lost them this World Cup. And the range of emotion that he went through. Angel Di Maria has been around as long as Messi. He's been able to play a part in that 2014 final. Scored what it looked like was going to be the cushion goal. Presidents of Comdebol of UEFA, presidents of the Federations of France and Argentina, the presidents, or the president of FIFA and of France and the Emir of Qatar all on that day. They're all getting their brief moment. How about Thiago Almada? MLS player. Got a few minutes at this tournament, but what a neat moment for a guy that's coming off a wonderful season for Atlanta United in Major League Soccer to be a part of this. Are we going to be saying the same thing about Lionel Messi in the months to come? Wouldn't that be something? Nicolas Otamendi, his 100th appearance for Argentina tonight in this game. Just crazy. And for Otamendi, he ended up having a terrific tournament for Argentina, but it was his foul that gave away the penalty that, as we said, opened up the door for France, and Mbappe stormed right through it with both feet. Unwelcomed by the Argentines and leveled the game then just a minute and 33 seconds later This game had everything this tournament had everything just what a fantastic month and this Could not have been a better ending to The tournament either way that it went if it went France's way the story is great and what Mbappe did and for Lionel Messi and so many fans around the world that Witnessed that moment of Messi lifting the trophy well, about to lift that beautiful trophy that he's been staring out for the last 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to think for everybody watching at home in the United States that this party's coming to our house in the summer of 2026. And that will really be something. I imagine a lot of these players will be a part of it. A lot of very young players that saw significant minutes. We talked about that for Argentina at this tournament. And it will be the man to walk up here who will get the biggest roar. Lionel Scaloni, you saw him choking back the tears in the interview, holding his son. He called it a beautiful dream before the tournament. The idea of in his final Opportunity, finally winning the World Cup, but we know enough to know that dreams do not always come true. Real life does not always have the Hollywood ending. It is rare in sports, it is rare in life that things come together as magically as they have come together tonight for Lionel Andres Messi. At one point in his career was rejected by clubs. He was too small. He needed growth hormone therapy, and it was FC Barcelona was willing to pay the cost to bring him to Spain, change the course of the history of this game. Johnny Infantino, president of FIFA, will hand him the trophy. Messi will walk over with it to his teammates. And the party will really begin. Something which will be celebrated by his many, many admirers all around the world. In this instance, though, it was the Hollywood end. It was the perfect finish. It was the beautiful dream coming true. And these scenes will live forever as Lionel Messi and Argentina have won the World Cup.
Messi, immortal. What a performance, what a game, what a legend. Congratulations, Lionel Messi. Congratulations, Argentina, and thank you. What a month. Enjoy it every minute, my friend. What a pleasure for us to have been part of it with all of you. For a final time here from Luceo Stadium, Rob Stone, back to you on the Corniche. John, Stu, thank you so much for your work over the course of the last month. Argentina, the first South American winner in five World Cups. They earned their third World Cup title, and the GOAT has gold. The wait, worth it. Longer than most expected, but Lionel Messi finally getting his first World Cup trophy celebration. Plenty more to come on this one, including full match highlights from the greatest World Cup final ever. Buenos Aires is just getting started. Messi sneaking in an early kiss with the greatest piece of hardware known in sports. 2022 FIFA World Cup today on FS1 is presented by Google Pixel. Good morning, America. All across the country, we're getting up early this year. Whether you're repping La Cultura, your team is out for the count. 2026 estaremos de vuelta. Por supuesto. Or you need the world to know this is our year. Because the beautiful game belongs to all of us. Get Google Pixel 7 Pro for free. Plus get Pixel Watch, Pixel Buzz Pro, and more for free. You don't come to Vegas for one game, one race, one fight, one matchup, or one team. You come for the epic pregame and three days of postgame. You come for the showtime and go time and 24 hours of prime time. Because the game is just the beginning. Las Vegas, the greatest arena on earth. Now what? You say it when things go wrong. At Prudential, we think you should say it when things go right, too. Like when you score your dream job, sell your business, or discover she's smart, really smart. Now what? Here's what. You connect with Prudential's rock-solid team serving over 50 million people with investment, insurance, and retirement know-how. Who's your rock? Visit Prudential.com or speak to an advisor today.